Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back. Today we have another review of a Mega Blox Halo UNSC Mantis. This is a really, really awesome set actually. Uh, it's a vehicle from Halo 4, one of the cooler new vehicles. It's um, basically a mech for the UNSC and it, it's, it's awesome. It has a giant chain gun and missiles and all that great stuff. Now, depending where you are from, this will range from $30 to $40. I got it for $35 at Toys R Us. But, once again, it depends where you live and where you buy it from, because location and the store, that always comes in the, in the play. Now, the manual, as always, your standard manual, not that much to it. And the box is pretty cool, actually. I really like the box. Got all your uh, facts here. It's set number 97115, UNSC Mantis. Got the awesome animations going, Mega Box Halo, Halo 4 Master Chief, all that good stuff. Then on the back, you got all the uh, other sets. Little feature, featurette of the, uh, what, what the second do. Then, all this good stuff. You got your minifigure and then the different languages of um, the description. Now, the description says. The UNSC Mantis is a new multi-purpose battle mech that can turn anyone into an unstoppable one-man army. Its reinforced front-facing armor helps protect helps helps protect of the UNSC Spartan warrior inside, while the heavy machine gun and 5-2 missile launcher make short work of enemy units. And if you played Halo 4 and driven this, you know that that is all too true. It is an unstoppable machine. It is it's just great. It takes out batteries and everything. It's awesome. Now for your minifigure, awesome new one, you have a uh, Spartan 4 from Halo 4. Uh, just for a bit of reference, Master Chief is a Spartan 2, and Noble Team is Spartan 3s. So this is the new generation Spartan 4s. They're actually pretty cool once you see them. They're uh, a lot smaller, they're more agile I guess kind of, but uh, you know, it can't be Master Chief. Then, we get a close up. The detailing is actually really good, even down to the little dots they have on their visor and little bumps up here. It's crazy, the detail that they go into with this. It's awesome. And he's just uh, gray and black. He comes armed with a, a new weapon, the saw from Halo 4. Really awesome gun, has a giant uh, drum full of ammo, and you can just hose down enemies. It's great. Now, for the main attraction, the Mantis itself. Uh, it actually comes with this uh, little thing you build to kind of hold it in. You can lift this stuff up and you can take it out of its little holding module and just fix its legs as such. They're all like fully adjustable too, which is awesome. Each of the legs, the joints and everything. And you've got this giant hulking mech of death and destruction. It is a little bit weird to get it to stand though. Just cause you know it's kind of a little disproportionate. Is that gonna stay? Let's hope that stays. But as you can see it's really awesome, really cool. Uh, there are a lot of stickers though. Most of this is stickers. That's not a sticker though. This right here is not a sticker. This is a print. A very, very cool print at that. And on top, you have that. That is also a print, not a sticker. But the rest are stickers. Now, let me show you a little close up. Here are the rocket pods. These things are awesome. You can fire tons of rockets at the enemy. Then you have your chain gun, which is also really cool. I like how they fed the ammo in like that. Then this is the front view. And you can you build this in sections, you build the head, the arms, the legs, and then the middle part, and they all connect together. And uh, as you can see, each leg you can fully adjust however you want, even to if the foot bends sideways or not. It's really, really cool. I like how they did that. It's just a really great feature. Now, your Spartan, like just in the game, this folds open, and you can go right in here. And he has a handy little control panel. And he actually does fit quite nice. Part of it, this whole thing is this one piece where the chair is. It's all one piece. And he fits nice and snug in there. And you close that up. 
And you have your Spartan Ford and his Mantis. I found that pretty cool. I mean, the build itself is sturdy. Usually, um, big sets like these, they're really unsturdy. You got giant pieces falling off, and it's just not that great. Mega Box really outdid themselves. This is really great quality. It's a great build. It's sturdy. It holds up. Standing, it can be getting it to stand up can be a little weird, but that's not that much of a nuisance. Not at all by any standard. Now, moving on to the little kind of hookup thing he's got going here. Right here, if you draw your attention, this is actually printed. Very nice. The cool Halo 4 UNSC logo. Um, the staircase is on both sides. You got all your stuff here. Kind of the catwalk to walk up to repair it. And right here is where it mounts on this little piece. This little under bottom part where it just kind of clicks in. And you have a control panel, once again stickers, but very cool. Kind of shows the readings of the mantis. Now to get your mantis to fit in this, you have to take scoot this back for you guys. Both of the arms, face them down. Get the legs, face them like this. It's kind of a weird way, but uh, it's cool. Do that. And as you can see right here is where the little thing just kind of fits in. And then you take your mantis. And he goes right into the spot. And uh, you can put this little thing up there. And it fits really nice and snug, like it's it's crazy. They built it perfectly just for this. So as you can see it's resting and it fits absolutely perfectly. And this little thing, like I said, you can move it. And it's a ooh, little bit of an unbalance there. It's uh, like the catwalk so the guys can walk up and repair it and the pilot, if he wishes, can get out. That's how he uh, mounts this thing from this. Yeah, stick him right there. But this is a very cool set. It's really, it's built really, really, really well. The newer Mega Lux sets are like that. When they first started off, they didn't really have the quality there. They had the cool idea, the brand, but not the quality. But now they do have the quality. And uh, if you have uh, around thirty dollars laying around, I highly recommend you buy this set. It's a really cool buy. You get an awesome Spartan Four, and one of the coolest Halo vehicles, the Mantis. It's a giant mech who doesn't love giant robots, but it's really. Really great set, well built. There's a lot of stickers though, so keep that in mind. I am not a great sticker applier, so my sticker jobs are usually pretty terrible. So don't judge my stickers. But that brings us to a close, guys. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time.